Good morning, folks. We'll start with the polar ice update. It was confirmed just a few days ago that the Antarctic sea ice down south rebroke the high surface record it set just last year. You can see on the Arctic ice plot up north, 2013 dwarfs last year in the face of that record melting up north from 2012, but we do still remain well below the long-term averages at that dark gray bar. Top article today comes out of LSU. Discussion of microbial survival in ice and permafrost. LSU researchers have just given a few microbes their first taste of life in millions of years. If you missed last night's news, we now have the new RSOE EDIS alert map, much improved in my opinion. Lots to investigate while the best parts have not changed. I go over some of those changes real quick in last night's video, which is public unlike most of the evening news. The functionality, ease of use, and individual features are an A-plus in my book. I think they did a great job. Coming to Stormwatch, Baja taking the licks for the mainland while sending its moisture north enough to cause snow in the Rockies. Do believe Priscilla is heading out to sea. If you are checking in on the India damage, might want to check in on Vietnam as well. Even if this technically misses Japan, it's already giving rain and a glancing blow at the southwest. Coming to Sunspots, we have seen decay. There remains one final group of danger on the south. You see the magnetic still mixing within the penumbral region. And literally, while I was putting this video together, that exact spot popped again. M-Class. CME analysis in tonight's evening news. There are more sunspots coming in north and south. We'll keep watch for all the pops, flares, filaments, and ejecta. All while keeping one eye on the solar wind. SOHO shows that leading density spike heralding in the coronal hole stream, and since we indeed saw the speed rising throughout the day, we can definitively call that the coronal hole stream. The force is causing minor geomagnetic instability, but no storm conditions yet. With the electron flux and magnetometers dancing onto the tune of this space weather, I'm compelled to remember the CME NOAA expects to hit today. NASA says tomorrow. Either way, they're likely to add a bit to this current event, although not in any major or dangerous way. But speaking of danger, those umbral fields look mighty open in Earth's direction. Last night I called for a potential rise in seismicity due to the coronal hole power increasing. Look on the left at the shift from yesterday's morning's news to about 5 p.m. Eastern U.S. Major strengthening down south, not too shabby on the north incoming either, and Gaia just could not wait. Ripped a deadly seven-pointer through the Philippines, the numbers are still coming in. Shots of our star from SDO and Iris to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.